In this video, you'll learn how to display unbound data using unbound columns. Unbound data is typically data that does not come from your data source, like calculated columns which you can easily define in the ASPX grid view. To begin, I've added an ASPX grid view control and access data source control and linked them to the products table of the Northwind database. Initially, the grid displays products, the price, and the amount. In this sample, I'll add a new column to display the total amount for each product. The total will be calculated by multiplying the unit price by quantity for each product. Start by switching to the column editor and create a new column. To add a new column from the editor, select the leftmost button under Columns. A drop-down listing the types of columns will be displayed. Select Spin Edit Column. Since this new column isn't bound to any field in the data source, you want to specify the data type. In this case, for total, choose Decimal. Then specify the field name property. This property must be set to a unique value and not refer to any field in the grid's data source. You'll reference this field name when setting the value. Since this column displays currency values, let's specify a format pattern. Lowercase c2 will display currency to two decimal places. Since unbound columns are not bound to any fields in the data source, I need to populate the total column manually. To do this, I'm going to handle the custom unbound column data event. The custom unbound column data event is raised only for unbound columns when the ASPX grid view is loaded. The event is fired for each data cell. Within the event, I'll obtain the process product's price and quantity. Then, using these values, I'll calculate the total amount for the new column. And that's all you have to do to add unbound columns. Now let's run the application to see the results. You'll see that all the rows in the new unbound column have been populated with the total amount for each product. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.